So in this problem, we're told a dog runs uh, 120 meters away from its master in a straight line in 8.4 seconds, and then runs halfway back in one third of the time. And we're told to calculate its average speed and its average velocity. So I think the best way to do these type of problems is to draw some sort of diagram to represent it. So we're told this guy has this dog. So I'm gonna draw a little guy right here. And so we're told that his dog runs 120 meters away from him. So this line's gonna represent 120 meters. So we're gonna say the dog's here now. Let's label it. So he goes this distance, which is 120 meters. And it says he runs this in 8.4 seconds. So I'm gonna draw another line like this, or I'll just write next to it. So 8.4 seconds, travels this total distance. And then it says he runs halfway back. So if he runs 120 meters this way, he runs halfway back. So what is halfway back? Well, he runs 120, right? So halfway back would be half of the distance he ran. So 120 divided by two is 60. So now he's running back 60 meters. And then it says in just uh, one third of the time. So if it took him 8.4 seconds to run uh, this distance, it's gonna be one third of that. So 8.4, if you divide it by three, you're gonna get 2.8. So he ran 120 meters in 8.4 seconds, and then he ran back 60 meters in 2.8 seconds. So this diagram is just gonna help us uh, solve for A and B. So A is asking us for its average speed, and B is asking us for average velocity. So what you need to know is that speed is gonna be equal to the total distance traveled over the total amount of time. And uh, that's what you gotta know for speed. And speed and velocity gets, uh, gets mixed up, so make sure you know the difference between the two. So velocity is a bit different. So velocity is just gonna be your change in position, uh, which I'll just represent as x, so positions x, over your uh, total time traveled, right? So the difference is velocity is the change in position and uh, speed is just your total distance. So you gotta differentiate between those two. But uh, let's find A. So speed is gonna be equal to the total distance traveled. So distance over the total amount of time. So what is uh, the total distance traveled? Well, we know it goes 120 meters this way and then 60 meters back. So how, how, what's the total number of meters it traveled? Well, it went 120 meters and then 60. So if we just add those up, 120 plus 60 is going to be 180. So we have 180. And then what is the total time traveled? Well, we know it goes 8.4 uh, seconds this way and then 2.8 seconds. So the total time is going to be 8.4 plus 2.8. So if you go ahead and add that up, it's going to be 11.2. Yeah. So... Uh, total distance traveled divided by the total amount of time is going to be 180 divided by 11.2, and you should get 16.07, and it goes on. Uh, we're just going to round to the whole number, so 16. And so that's going to be 16, and then uh, speed is written in meters per second, right, because distance is in meters. Um, time is in seconds, so meters per second. So now we got speed. We, that's going to be the answer to A. Let's go ahead and do B. So we're doing velocity. So velocity equals uh, change in position over uh, change in time, or just the total amount of time traveled. Um, so yeah. Uh, what is going to be the change in position, though? So we're trying to find that first. Uh, so we know it starts here, right? So the guy's right here. His dog goes 120 meters this way, and then 60 back. So how far is the dog away from the guy at the end? Well, here is, let's say it's called zero. And then it's all the way here at 60. So the difference between the two, or the total distance between them, is going to be 60 meters. So it changes in position 60 meters. And then we just got to divide it by the total amount of time that took. And we know that from the last one, it's going to be 11.2, right? Because it goes 8.4 seconds this way, plus 2.8 seconds that way. So we divide 60 by 11.2. And so if you go ahead and do that, you should get it equals... 5.35, and you can round this however you want, but I'm just going to round it to the whole number just like this one. So I'm going to round it to 5. So it's going to be 5, and then velocity is the same thing, meters per second. So 5 meters per second. And so this is going to be your answer to B. And uh, yeah, that's how you solve this problem.